this week in the news, Belgian beer culture, marijuana confusion and PEI, and I show you a DIY beer advent calendar. I am your host, Chris Hardy, and this is the Straight Beer News for the week of December 4th, 2016. Starting off this week, we have an announcement from UNESCO. UNESCO is an organization within the UN that focuses on education, science, and culture within humanity. And the uh, announcement this week was that they have accepted a bid by uh, the country of Belgium to uh, accept their uh, nomination into their cultural heritage. Belgium had asked to be accepted into UNESCO. Uh, for their beer heritage and their beer culture. UNESCO uh, accepted that nomination and they are um, welcomed into their, uh, their category of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. And within their announcement, UNESCO um, stated that there are multiple things within this uh, beer culture in Belgium that made it important and worth um, noting. And so one of those things was the uh, the role in their daily life of beer and not just daily life but also in their uh, festivities and uh, in festivals and holidays. Also they mentioned that there were 1500 different types of beer in Belgium which made it noteworthy. Uh, also another thing that was considered was that how frequently it's used in cooking uh, and not only cooking but in cheese making as well as food pairing and that those are things that are important to the Belgian culture. And lastly, they noted the uh, knowledge sharing of beer that goes on in Belgium. So not only within uh, home life, but also within breweries and the universities and the, uh, the academic world and just how they share their knowledge of beer uh, passing down throughout the ages and how that was important to, uh, to continue or to make a special mention of uh, within the UNESCO family. Now most of my viewers probably are aware that uh, hops is very similar in uh, plant life to marijuana, but what I don't think most of us would do is confuse the two. And that's what happened this week in Prince Edward Island, Canada. There was a situation this week on a hops farm. Uh, the farmer noticed that there were three individuals that were on his land and called police. Turned out that these three individuals had confused the hop farm with marijuana, expecting there to be a plethora of, of uh, marijuana on the site, and they ex apparently did extensive damage to hops product that had already been packaged for shipping. The three individuals were uh, were found and arrested, and within their statement they said as much that they thought that it was a farm with with marijuana and they were hoping to grab some and steal some and. And, and take with them for their own use. Uh, the charges that were levied against them, or well there were three people, there were two men and one woman. One of the men was a 23 year old man who had prior convictions um, and so we know about his charges and he was charged with breaking and entering, theft, and mischief. So this is a story I didn't expect to ever have to relay, but apparently there's some confusion in Canada of what is a hot plant versus a marijuana plant. And lastly, the uh, holiday season is upon us and in full swing. Uh, we've entered the first week of December this past week, and with that comes holiday celebrations and daily countdowns leading up to Christmas, or what is known as the Advent. And if you're not familiar with Advents or Advent calendars, I've got a little example of one here where children will use this to open up one of the doors, pull out a chocolate or a goodie, and celebrate the first day or the second day or the third day leading up to uh, the 25th, which would be Christmas. And, and recently it's become fashionable within people in the beer community or people who are craft beer lovers to create an Advent of their own. I created my own this year. So what you'll want to do is to go to a, a beer store or shop that's near you that will sell individuals. You may have to do some searching to find one, but usually there, you'll, there will be some that you can find that will sell not just a six pack, uh, but individual 12 ounces and you can pick your own uh, pack of, of beers. And so you'll want to get 24 since that's those are the numbers of days leading up to Christmas. And I have mine here. 
So mine I have wrapped in a nice little in a nice box and each beer is individually wrapped in a little bag here with tie strings at the top. And uh, every night I'll pull one out at random and that will be my advent beer of the day. Uh, I do have a couple larger ones and those will be for um, especially um, at the end, so the 23rd and the 24th uh, since it's a Friday and a Saturday leading up to Christmas. Now, I did this this way myself, um, just by myself because I don't have enough uh, friends to commit to doing a, a larger one. But if you have friends and you can get a group of you together, there's a different way that you can do your own um, advent for advent calendar for beer. And what I would recommend is you will need six people. So um, in addition to yourself, you want to find five under other individuals that are uh, into beer who will do this with you. And what you would do is each of you would come together with four packs of beer, four six packs to be specific, four six packs of beer. Each one of them brings to this location, the house maybe. And then you'll have from the six of them, four pack, four six packs, which would be 24 different beers. And each person will take one bottle from each six pack. And that's the way that you could distribute the, the, the 24 beers to each person and they can go home with their own uh, beer advent. So this is something that would obviously have to be planned in advance and discussed. Uh, the coordination between the people would have to be well done so that there are no doubles of beers or maybe if there are doubles maybe that's fine with you if they are both good ones. But uh, just that's, a, that's one good way that you can do your own um, advent calendar among friends. Or if you're like me you just do your own and uh, keep it and photograph it for yourself and your own memories. Or you can do as I do when I put it on Facebook or on Twitter and on Instagram. And I hashtag the 25 beers of Christmas. So if you're on Instagram and you want to find me, you can find my, you can follow my advent one day at a time with the hashtag 25 beers of Christmas. Well, that'll do it for me this week. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to have more information about any of the news items that I discussed today, you can look down for the links in the description for this video below. I'll have links to each of the articles of the news items that I talked about today. If you want to uh, subscribe, you can please do that. Uh, coming up soon in the foreground of this video will be a large S for straight beer. Click on that to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also on the sides of me will be uh, links to videos from the past. So one will be the video from last week and one will be for the news from the month of, this, of November if you missed any of those. To find me on social media, uh, you can do that on Twitter. I'm at straight beer. Also on Instagram, I'm Hardy, Har, H-A-R-D-I-E-H-A-R. Um, also, I'm on Untapped, just as Hardy, so you can find me there as well. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video, and comment in the comment section, and we can interact there as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care.